and Rob, aged 40, is facing the biggest battle of his life. I started what I thought was uh, hallucinating. I, was, I had a strange sensation come over me, like I was filling up with hot water. So I had an MRI scan and a subsequent CAT scan, and he said to me, oh, you've got a brain tumour. Oh, have I? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I said, sort of, how big is it compared to the size of a two pee piece? Size of a fist, he said. And you think to yourself, well, 2012 Olympics, am I going to be going to that? In 2005, Tom Daly became the youngest diver in Britain to qualify for the Commonwealth Games. He was just 11 years old. His dad, Rob, had been by his side for every training session. He, he supports me all the way, and if I didn't have his support system, I wouldn't be here now, because I wouldn't want to carry on without his support. You need to understand that I need to get into my head that I know that it's safe. You really are, you just need to... It's fine. 15 year old doesn't understand the, the uh, worry that the parents have got about their kids, you know. Sometimes you can't see the uh, fear which I can see. You stand up on the side of a 10 metre board when there's four or five of them all stood up on the end talking and he stood backwards, uh, not even over the water. So if he did fall, he might fall off sideways. And it makes me cringe. But I suppose he's that used to being up there, perhaps, so that he doesn't feel he's in danger. Look at that, doesn't that really annoy you? Look at the back of his neck, look to the back of his neck. Look at it all roll up, <laughs> that really annoys me. And he does this thing where he puts his head, like, chin right into his face and, like, gets all the rolls here. And the way that he's got, like, a really little tongue that he just goes, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. That really annoys me too. <laughs> is it who I think it is? Who? Who's down there now? Tom Daly. Tom Stardew. Yeah. He gets cuddles from we adore him. Yeah, yeah. Never met a look at guy with better manners. Lovely. But he has to put up with us and he copes with us very well. Will we go talk? Oh, they've made my day then, old ladies. They really have. I'm still thinking of Bill those smiling. <laughs> it's a bit hot in here. Yeah, it does. Oh. I better have a, I'll have a word with God, Tom, see what he can do, shall I? Yeah. Probably the nicest day I've seen in Plymouth this year, actually. And I reckon, uh, I reckon the sun shines on the righteous today because it's Tom's birthday. I think that, that moment at the World Championships when he came into, into the room, into the press conference, and I was, I was there uh, at that time and standing right next to him. Yeah, that is what it is. That that's that's emotion spilling over because, you know, Rob has not got the degree in how to walk into a press centre and handle that moment. There's no training you can give them. Uh, yeah, there's times when I wish I'd sort of held on to him, but that's Rob. You don't get Tom Daly if you don't have Rob as who he is. Rob's tumour has grown again. To measure the pace of growth, he needs another scan. Meanwhile, Tom sits his English literature, GCSE. Does everybody have in front of them the paper they're expecting to take this afternoon? If you'd like to turn your paper and start now, good luck.
this is the um, the scan, so it just lights up. Is that the tumour? Yeah. That's the tumour. The results show Rob's tumour is growing faster than the doctors hoped, so he needs immediate chemotherapy to stem its advance. And he's been advised not to fly long distance. <coughs> Tom? What do you want for breakfast? I know, I'll look at it. Well, I'll do it for you if you want. Uh, no, I'm just saying, if you want me to do your breakfast, toast or beans, whatever, spaghetti, whatever, I'll do it. No, I don't want that. No. Right, fair enough. Mornings, you're so grumpy, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'll just go and ask him, Tom, what would you like for breakfast? No, oh, I'll do it. Wait, no. Why well, doesn't he turn around and say, yeah, thanks, Dad. Can you do me some blah, 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 please? He's got a busy summer. From the 24th of July until the 6th of September, he's going to be away. Um, I should see him in Budapest, should I go? And uh, hopefully if I can go to the Commonwealth Games, I'll uh, see him there as well. But you're not going to Singapore or Tucson? I'm not going to go to Singapore or Tucson, no. My tumour is regrowing, unfortunately. I've got to be a bit sensible. May not see him next year, else. Here's Mr. Grumpy, love. No, it's Mr. Just Woken Up. Mr. Grumpy? No. Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Just Woken Up. Oh. And will your dad go with you to the Commonwealth Games? I think my dad will be going with me. I'm not sure because I don't know whether he's going to be able to fly long haul at the moment. But yeah, hopefully he will. I'm sure he will. <laughs> It is embarrassing. You should see, like, when sometimes when we go on, like, planes and stuff and trains, when, when, as soon as we get on there, he sits down and then he pretends he's got Tourette's and starts shouting things out, don't you? So you say I've got undiagnosed Tourette's. Yes. Which is you messing around, encouraging me, laughing, and a bit of banter, Tom, that's what it is. But of course you're going to laugh if you've got your dad sitting next to you shouting things out and, like, pulling faces. Is this the dad that... Taxes you round everywhere and takes you everywhere and like builds your bedroom. Is this the same dad, is it, Tom? No. no. That's an <laughs> undiagnosed threat, dad. You need 